Hi, every pony. Glad to be back again with my latest story, uh, my next clop to be more specific. Uh, I can't recall if I mentioned what it was going to be last time, but I was planning on doing one called She Will Always Be Your Twilight. Uh, but as has been the case before, I ended up not liking that one as much uh, the second time around. So, as you can see, this is instead going to be Diamonds Are a Mare's Best Friend. I was uh, just really thinking that for as much as I really love Twilight, I haven't really done as much with her as I might have, considering how much I like her. So I guess I was thinking partially about that when I read both Trouble with Sympathy and now this one uh, back to back. This story features Twi-Pi, for all curious, which works amazingly for everyone, I hope. That's another ship I've just always loved, uh, and I think this one tells it really well. Hopefully others have plenty of fun, too. So I guess I'll get started. I'll just extend my usual thanks to all my usual listeners, as well as to any new fans I may garner with this latest. Hope each and every one of you enjoys. Diamonds are a mare's best friend by Calculus Philly. Twilight smiled as she witnessed Spike run down the stairs with a bag of random items in tow, his eyes full of excitement for what was to come. Have fun with the Crusaders, Spike. What exactly are you all planning on doing, anyway? Spike paused on his way to the door and glanced over at Twilight, who had tilted her head in curiosity. Oh, well, I was going to help them get their cutie marks in... Twilight temporarily zoned out eyes glazing over as she realized that she didn't exactly want to hear what he was going to do today. And then the squids will- Twilight quickly shook her head and gestured suspiciously towards a non-existent clock. She grinned sheepishly. Oh, look at the time! You'd better get going. Don't want to be late! She anxiously herded him out of the door, yelling a quick, Have fun! after him. When she finally got the door closed and locked behind him, she sighed in relief. She happily trotted up the stairs, her hooves producing a loud clop-clop noise. When she reached her room, she stealthily locked the door, just in case, and drew her blinds. She didn't want any pony to see what she was about to do. She blushed slightly and reached under her bed. She fished around for a second before locating a dust-free cardboard box. She pulled it out and reread the label. Here it is! Totally boring school project things that you would be completely uninterested in. Her horn lit up with magenta magic as she opened the box and levitated a cloth-covered object out. She giggled slightly as she unwrapped it, revealing the true nature of the item. It was a simple, phallic-shaped toy, clearly meant for use in the bedroom. What was interesting was what it was made out of. She could see her warped reflection staring back out at her from the diamond object. Yes, Twilight Sparkle had a diamond dildo. That had been a very awkward conversation with Rarity. Somehow, the topic at hand had turned to how Twilight's normal toys weren't satisfying her. Rarity's eyes absolutely sparkled as she recalled something she had hidden in the back room of the shop. Oh, ho, ho, Twilight! I do believe I have just the thing! She trotted to the back room, and Twilight could hear her rummaging through some boxes. Twilight's face scrunched up in confusion. Wait, what? Aha! I found it! Rarity quickly found her way back to where she was having tea with Twilight, and set a fancy box in front of the curious unicorn. Rarity, please tell me this isn't what I think it is. Oh, I can assure you, Twilight, this is most certainly different from whatever you're thinking of. Twilight's eye twitched as she effortlessly opened the box and levitated a most decidedly strange object in front of her face. Rarity, this is a phallic object meant for sexual play, isn't it? Yes, Twilight, it's a dildo. Twilight's eye twitched once more. Then pray tell, why exactly is it made out of pure diamond? Rarity's grin widened. 
She clearly expected that question. Well, darling, some of us get bored with more, shall we say, standard means of pleasuring oneself. I can assure you, Twilight, this little thing will give you the ride of your life. Ever heard the phrase, hard as diamond? Rarity closed her eyes and shivered. Well, I can assure you that there is no better way to experience what exactly that means. Twilight was just standing there in shock. This was one of the stranger things that had happened that week, and stranger still, this had nothing to do with Pinkie Pie. Rarity, who she had believed would think such things uncouth, had literally just handed her a diamond dildo. What? But, I mean, where did you even... Twilight just stood and sputtered out half words and half sentences. Twilight grinned. Enough reminiscing. Time for science! Twilight eagerly sat down at her desk, where she had several other dildos set out, made of different gemstones. She had also received them from Rarity, though Rarity hadn't believed Twilight when she had told her that she needed them for purely scientific purposes. Twilight's horn glowed as she picked up a quill and labeled a page on her notebook. Effects of different rare materials when used in conjugation with a standard pulsation enchantment. She put down the quill and lifted up the dildo made of ruby, applying the aforementioned enchantment. Ergo, she made it vibrate. Seeing that the ruby wasn't holding the enchantment particularly well, she set it down and scribbled something down in her notebook. She went through that process with every single dildo, made of everything from amethyst to emerald, until she got to the diamond one. She blushed slightly. This one felt different. It was just that much harder than the others. She applied the enchantment, squeaking and almost dropping it when the vibration echoed through powerfully. She muttered to herself a little bit, I wonder what that would feel like. Then she realized what she said. Her eyes widened. No, Twilight, this is for science only. With that, she continued her research, adjusting the spell and writing down the different results. Each time the vibration would start up, she'd squirm on her chair a little bit and force herself to not drop her test subject. I wonder if Rarity has anything to add to my research. I mean, I did get this thing from her in the first place. Strangely enough, that thought hadn't hit her before. She had gotten this from Rarity. It seemed like Rarity had a supply of them. Actually, Rarity probably used one on a regular basis. Twilight squeaked at the mental image of her friend on her back, driving one of the toys in and out of herself. Well, what? No, no, Twilight! Research! Science! Twilight physically tried to shake the thought out of her head, trying to go back to research mode. She picked the diamond dildo back up in her magic and started the vibrations again, listening to how much noise came from the object. She wrote down her observations and fed twice as much magic in. It buzzed loudly and violently. She found her thoughts had wandered back to her friend, and her hoof had wandered down her body. T damn it! She hastily pulled her hoof back up to her workplace, silently cursing her lack of concentration. She managed to pretend that she was actually recording useful information, but only for a moment. Her concentration lapsed once more, and she found her hooves wandering her body as if they had a mind of their own. Twilight sighed, admitting defeat with an angry huff. I can't take this. The diamond dildo still hovering in her grasp, she stumbled over to her bed. She settled down on her back and slowly spread her hind legs, exposing herself to the room. A delicious tingle ran up her spine, and she squirmed on the bed, her breathing slightly accelerating. Keeping one hoof pulled to her body, she trailed the other hoof down her chest slowly, massaging it, causing her to sigh contentedly. It leisurely continued its journey, leaving a trail of warmth wherever it went. It neared its destination, before going on a decidedly different direction, completely moving away from its original target. Twilight wanted to be good and ready before going for it. She unintentionally brushed her hoof on her inner thigh, causing a minute squeak to escape her slightly parted lips. 
As she became more bold, her hoof wandered closer and closer to its destination, her breathing accelerating. A shudder slowly ran through her body, and not because she was cold. When her hoof finally met her soaked nethers, she sucked in a breath before her tongue snuck out to dampen her lower lip. She simply rested her forehoof there a moment before slowly beginning to stroke up and down. With each pass, she gently brushed against her clit, causing a spark of pleasure to race up and down her spine. She really needed to do this more often. After a while, she deemed herself ready and pulled her damp hoof back to her chest. Her horns shimmered with magic, pulling the diamond dildo towards her aching need. She allowed it to simply rest against her heated fur for an agonizingly long moment before beginning to apply pressure to it. She bit her lip and her eyes slammed shut as she felt it slip in, her own natural lubrication more than enough. She continued pressing inwards, adjusting to the feel of one of the hardest substances in the world invading her marehood. When all but the base was resting inside of her, she let a shaky breath out. She pulled it out slowly, until only a couple of inches remained inserted. Let's get this party started. She carefully pushed it back in, trying to get just the right angle. A jolt of lightning sparked across Twilight's vision, and she ground against her bed, once more chewing her bottom lip. She couldn't quite contain her whimpers. <laughs> ah! ah! She steeled herself for a moment, before grinding the toy against the spot she had located moments earlier. <laughs> her hoof wasn't going to let Twilight's magic do all the work, and it trailed back down her body, meeting her clit at the same time as the diamond dildo thrust forcefully into the top wall of Twilight's sex, right into that area that would cause her to see spots. Ah! Uh, uh, fuck! She swirled the tip of her hoof against the hood of her clit, and began a rhythm of thrusting in the diamond dildo and pulling back slowly. An outright moan escaped the mare's lips, and she began slowly picking up speed. She needed more. Her horn glowed brighter as she added another spell to that which was holding her dildo inside of her. The diamond dildo gently began to vibrate against Twilight's inner walls, causing her other hoof to press down into the sheets of her bed in an attempt to stay lucid, in spite of the ecstasy assaulting her body. As she began to slowly lose control, the motions made with her hoof became sloppier, and she was forced to pull her hoof up to her chest and extend her magic from the diamond dildo up to her clit, gently squeezing it, still vibrating gently. When she felt the vibrations, she lost control. She kicked her magic up another notch, the thrusting speeding up, and the vibrations growing in intensity until she was pretty much screaming her head off, hoping no pony heard her. Rainbow Dash was enjoying her nap above the library, cuddling into a soft cloud, when she heard an ear-piercing scream permeate the area around her. It sounded less scared or injured and more... pleasured? Is that... no way. That sounds like Twilight. Well then, sure sounds like she's enjoying herself. Rainbow Dash snickered into her hoof. She leapt off of her cloud and hovered outside of Twilight's bedroom window, trying to catch a glimpse of what was going on inside. When she finally managed to peek in through a gap in the curtains, what she saw made her wings nearly lock up, and her tail to start swishing madly. Hot! Rainbow Dash went and retrieved the cloud she was previously napping on, and formed it into a little nook she could sit in that no pony could see into. She adjusted it until she could see directly into Twilight's room, and then settled herself into it, very much enjoying the show. Twilight, by that point, was nearing the grand finale of the whole thing. What had previously been careful motions became frantic, and she couldn't even scream anymore. All she could do was whimper. Uh, 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 <laughs> 
Twilight could feel herself tensing up as she neared her climax, brutally pounding herself with her diamond dildo and massaging her clit with her magic. I... I'm... almost... there! Twilight once more increased the vibrations of her magic, letting out soft little squeaks and shaky breaths. She was on the home stretch, and nothing was going to keep her from reaching her climax. Except for the knocking on her door. Twilight silently cursed the unknown intruder, frantically stuffing the dildo into the box under her bed and all the dildos on her desk into a drawer. Is Spike back already? Damn it! She hastily tried to make herself presentable and cast a quick air freshening charm before opening the door. Rainbow Dash's eyes widened as she witnessed Twilight freak out and then open the door. Her eyes widened further when the intruder who walked in wasn't Spike, but Pinkie Pie. What the... Pinkie Pie? Oh, this is gonna be good. Oh, uh, hey Pinkie. How did you even get in here? Hey there, Twilight! My pinky sense told me that something super extra fun was going on in here! From the looks of things, I'm just barely on time! What? I... I don't know what you're talking about. Pinky locked the door behind her. She grinned seductively and slowly slinked towards Twilight, her hips swaying gently back and forth. Twilight was utterly hypnotized, and as such could not look away. Pinky just continued walking towards her, tilting her head slightly, giggling quietly. Oh, so you weren't in here pleasuring yourself furiously, dripping all over your own fur? You know, with a diamond di Twilight interrupted Pinky, not allowing her to finish that sentence. Her face burned brightly. S so what if I was? Pinky grinned, noticing the growing blush on Twilight's cute little cheeks. Hmm, I'd do this. Pinky tackled Twilight onto the bed, trying to wrestle them into the correct position, pressing her lips tightly against Twilight's own. After a moment, she managed to end up on top of Twilight, with both of Twilight's forehooves pinned above her head. A stray thought dashed through Twilight's mind. All of my friends are absolutely insane. Pinky leaned in further, deepening the kiss, swiping her tongue across Twilight's bottom lip. Twilight allowed Pinky access, their tongues wrestling in a heated battle. Pinky pulled back. Uh, Pinky, wh what are you d doing? Pinky simply leaned down and nibbled on Twilight's neck tenderly, before leaning up and delivering a gentle lick to her horn. You, silly! Twilight's blush grew even hotter, though that wasn't the only reason she could feel her body heating up. But Pinky... Yes, Twilight? D do that again, please? Pinky just grinned evilly, knowing that she had won over her target. She teasingly leaned down and flicked her talented tongue across the fluted length of Twilight's horn. Twilight squirmed on the bed, her back arching, but Pinky managed to keep Twilight pinned down. Pinky saw a long ribbon on Twilight's nightstand, and while it was generally used to keep Twilight's bathrobe tight on her body, she grabbed it and used it to tie Twilight's forehooves to the bed frame. What, Pinky? What are you doing? Silly Twy, I'm tying you to your bed! I can see that, Pinky, but wha- Twilight's words were cut off as she felt Pinky trail her tongue down her horn, onto her neck, before continuing the journey downwards. As Pinky approached Twilight's soaked marehood, she slowed down, until she was left right above where Twilight needed her to be. Twilight groaned in frustration. But Pinky, please- Pinky simply shook her head. You're gonna need to do better than that. Twilight sighed before blushing madly and saying words that she hoped would never be repeated to any pony. But Pinky, I need your t tongue inside of me. But please? Much better. Pinkie Pie made direct eye contact with Twilight and grinned. 
Maintaining that eye contact, she slowly sunk her tongue right into Twilight, watching her features spasm as she felt the wiggling intrusion. Ah! Uh, uh, but Pinky! M more Twilight had been right on the edge when Pinky barged in, and though she had cooled off a little bit, it still wouldn't take long for her to hit her peak. Pinkie Pie dragged her tongue up until she met Twilight's clit, causing her to violently arch her back, crying out, <laughs> Pinky, don't stop! Pinky stopped for a moment and reached under Twilight's bed, grabbing the diamond dildo out of the box and positioning it at Twilight's entrance. Confusion danced across Twilight's features when she felt Pinky pull away. Her eyes widened and her pupils shrank to pinpricks when she saw the diamond dildo ready to take her roughly. Pinky placed a hoof onto Twilight's clit and began massaging before pushing in the dildo. Hard. Twilight saw stars, pleasure dancing through her brain. It wasn't quite enough, though. Pinky! F fuck! Harder! Pinky, of course, complied with the request, shoving the diamond dildo in and out rapidly. It still didn't seem like it was quite enough to push Twilight over the edge. Twilight was just laying there, right at the peak of pleasure, but just barely unable to attain it. Pinky smiled at the squirming unicorn and leaned up to whisper into her ear. Come for me, Twilight. Then she leaned up further and took Twilight's horn into her mouth, gently suckling on it. Twilight screamed, her back arching off of the bed, inner walls contracting around the diamond dildo. This was the best part, the reason that the dildo was so addictive. As Twilight's muscles spasmed around it, it had absolutely no give. The hardness of it was indescribable. Twilight felt her research was complete. As each wave of pleasure crashed over Twilight, she whimpered more nonsense, her juices slowly dripping onto Pinky's hoof. Rainbow Dash's eyes were glued to the scene in front of her as she pulled a now sticky hoof away from her nethers, panting hard. Hot. Twilight slowly opened her eyes, still gasping for breath, meeting Pinkie Pie's gaze. Pinkie was smiling gently down at her. Th that was amazing, Pinkie. Well, that was fun, but I have to go finish baking a cake! See you, Twily! Before Twilight could respond, Pinky was happily bounding down the stairs, the door closed behind her. What? Twilight panicked for a moment, because Pinky left her tied to the bed, before remembering she had magic. She chuckled sheepishly, undoing the knots, before getting up and stretching. Her tired muscles protested, and her joints popped, but Twilight couldn't care less. That Pinky Pie. She opened up the door and trotted down the stairs, flipping the closed sign to open and unlocking the front door. With impeccable timing, Spike walked in, excitedly mumbling something about rarity. Oh, there you are, Spike. Could you run upstairs and grab Celestia's School for Gifted Unicorns a history? I was reading it earlier, but I think I left it up there. Twilight sighed gently and turned around, checking to make sure the books on one of the shelves were sorted properly. What Twilight saw when she turned around nearly made her pass out from shock. It was Spike, happily munching on her diamond dildo. Oh, hey Twilight, here's your book. It wasn't on your nightstand, so I thought you might have dropped it, so I checked under your bed and it was there. There was also a box with this diamond in it. I figured it was for me. It tastes a little funny, though. Well, that ended up a little shorter than I anticipated, but man, do I really dig this one. Twipi really is one of my top three ships, right up there with Apple Dash and um, Octascratch. Uh, hopefully everyone else felt the same way, or at the very least got a chuckle or two out of this. So next time, I'm finally going to get around to doing... Just Another Delivery, a derpy story featuring Brelia. 
that's another one where I've had her audio for it sitting around for a bit and you know I've just been putting it off for too long so hopefully I'll be able to record my parts and do that soon uh, though with school starting back up on Tuesday I'm not certain of anything but don't worry I'll always be around and I'll try to upload things whenever I can until next time my friends See ya.